Hey, Kevin. Correct. You playing Superman? Well, trying. <laughs> Gentleman was here visiting the other day, Pops, out of North Carolina, and he emailed me after he got home and he said, hey, let me share something with you because I don't have all, these fa all this fancy equipment like you do. And he said, I wanted to bend a railroad spike and this is what I did to get the job done. So his suggestion is really probably one of the simplest things I've ever seen. I mean, I learned this back when I was in high school. You've got something big and heavy and solid and you can't bend it. You don't have any machinery to bend it with. One way to get around it is to just go ahead and cut slices in it. Not quite all the way through. Don't cut it in two, that's embarrassing. Depending on how close you space your slices in here will give you a smoother curve. Closer they are, smoother the curve is. And it's easy to cut, really. Just my four and a half inch angle grinder and a cutoff wheel on it. Just clamp it in the vise, you know, be real careful, brace yourself, and just do your slices, do your cuts along there, depending on how you want, to, how you want it to move, how you want it to bend. Gotta have your safety equipment on. see a hammer is one way you know you, you start on the, you start on the side that's got a solid edge on it you know you don't want to you don't want to bend it where you cut it that'll open the cuts up so come to the opposite side tap it over close those cuts up so of course once you get this bent over and all these you know these outside edges touch if you want to bend it more it's real simple you just come back and just with your your angle grinder just hit that outside edge where it's touching open that area up a little don't go all the way back inside just get that outside edge and you can also just do it with a crescent wrench and boy you could do this with like a railroad spike you know a solid spike you know solid broad you know square stock uh, you know round stock whatever anything that's too big to like put over your knee then all you're going to do is come back and just weld everything back up grind it all back down again you got plenty of little curves and twists and turns in there so pops great tip thanks for sharing i hope that points a couple of you in the right direction if you're contemplating bending something really big and heavy so before you run off make sure you reach down there and hit that subscribe button for me and i'll see you next time